Let's take a quick in-depth look at dot length. So we primarily use dot length with arrays. So what we're going to do is we have this array called Pokemon array full of three Pokemon and we're going to console.log the length. So we can do Pokemon array dot length. We'll save it. Then we'll quickly see what pops up here. Refresh and there we see three right there. When we go back, let's go ahead and use this in a for loop. So if we want to use dot length in a for loop, we need to reference this array. So we can do for i equals zero, i is less than Pokemon array dot length, i plus plus. And then we can just do console.log Pokemon array i. So what this is going to do is go through the entire array of Pokemon, all three of them, and just display all their names. So let's quickly check that out, refresh, and there we see all of their names. One thing I want to quickly point out is the number three. Now, you know that the index of arrays go 0, 1, 2, but when it counts, when dot length counts, it's 1, 2, 3. Kind of confusing, a little tricky. Uh, don't really know why they did it that way necessarily. It works out well for this though, so just make sure if you're going to scroll through an entire array that all you have to do is the name of the array, dot length. 